Good day everyone! Rents Online Academy presents The Human Digestive System I'm Dr. Florence Pagadu and Alicante at your service. Digestion is the process of breaking the large molecules that you eat on its simplest form to be used by your body for growth, energy, and repair in order to live. The digestive system breaks down food in two ways. One is mechanical or physical digestion, where large food is broken down into pieces. Two, chemical digestion, wherein food changes into forms with the help of enzymes. This is the digestive system showing its components, parts, or organs involved. The digestive organs are divided into two groups. One is alimentary canal, passageway of food from entrance to exit. And number two, accessory organs, not a passageway of food, but aids in the digestion of food. Let us now study the alimentary canal. You take in food into your body through your mouth. This is called ingestion. In the mouth, you can see the teeth, and the teeth are responsible for the mechanical process of digestion through mastication. When we say mastication, it is the process of cutting, tearing, and grinding of food and mixing it with saliva. Aside from the teeth, you can see the tongue, and the tongue assists in swallowing the food that you eat. From the mouth, the food moves down to the pharynx, then to the esophagus through peristalsis. At the lower end of the esophagus is the esophageal sphincter that closes after the food enters into the stomach, preventing the backflow of stomach contents. This stomach produces digestive enzymes that breaks down food, now called chyme, into pieces. At the lower end of the stomach, you can see the pyloric sphincter. This controls the passage of chyme from the stomach into the duodenum of the small intestine. From the stomach, the food moves down to the duodenum, then to the jejunum, then to the ileum of the small intestine. This is the small intestine. The small intestine secretes enzymes which digest the chyme into its smallest form and absorbs the nutrients from the food. The white discs that you see are the nutrients. This process is called absorption. The small intestine is made up of folds of villi. Each villus singular is made up of capillaries. The lactyl in each villus is a lymphatic capillary that absorbs dietary fats. Enlarging the villus, you see microvilli. Microvilli are tiny hair-like projections that increase nutrient absorption. Also in the small intestine, assimilation of nutrients occur, where the nutrients in the bloodstream, the red disc, are distributed in the body via the capillaries, the blue network that you see, and this will be to be used by the body cells. From the ileum of the small intestine, the undigested food moves down into the cecum of the large intestine. The cecum is the first part of the large intestine, which functions as liquid receptacle, salt absorption, lubrication of solid waste, and cellulose digestion. From the cecum, the undigested materials moves to the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, then to the rectum. From the rectum, the waste products of digestion called feces are eliminated out from the body through the anus. This process is called defecation. Let us now study the accessory organs of digestion. One accessory organ of digestion is the salivary glands. The salivary glands help break down carbohydrates with salivary amylase and lubricates the passage of food down from the oropharynx down to the esophagus to the stomach. There are three types of salivary glands. These are the parotid gland, submandibular gland, and the sublingual gland. Likewise, liver is an accessory organ. It is the body's chemical factory. It produces bile that breaks down fats. It detoxifies harmful chemicals to the body. In addition to the accessory organs is a gallbladder. Gallbladder stores bile from the liver and transports it to the duodenum of the small intestine. Finally, 
we have the pancreas. The pancreas secretes pancreatic enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Let us now study the processes involved in the digestive system. Based on our discussion, one process involved is ingestion. Ingestion is the process of taking in food into the mouth. Likewise, we have digestion. Digestion is the process or mechanical or chemical breaking down food into its smallest form. In addition is absorption. Absorption is the process by which the nutrients are passed onto the cell membranes of the lining of the small intestine. Another is assimilation. Assimilation is the process by which the nutrients are distributed into the cells of the body where they are used like glucose for respiration and amino acids to build proteins. Another process involved is defecation. Defecation is the process of eliminating waste materials of digestion like feces from the body through anus. Defecation is elicited by the presence of fecal material in the rectum. Let's analyze the digestive system. Arrange the following statements that describe the processes in the digestive system by putting one as the first event and five as the last. Answer, letter D as number one, B as number two, E as number three, C as number four, and A as number five. Part B, choose the letter that does not belong to the group and explain why. Number one. Answer, letter D, liver. Liver is an accessory organ, while mouth, esophagus, and stomach are organs of the alimentary canal. Number two. Answer, letter D, respiration. Respiration is not a process involved in digestion, while absorption, digestion, and ingestion are all processes involved in digestion. Number three. Answer, letter D, small intestine. The small intestine is an organ of the alimentary canal, while gallbladder, pancreas, and salivary glands are accessory organs. Number four. Answer, letter C, kidneys. Kidneys are not organs of the digestive system while anus, esophagus, and large intestine are organs of the digestive system. Number five. Letter D, teeth. Teeth are not salivary glands, while parotid, sublingual, and submaxillary are kinds of salivary glands. Part C. Modify true or false. Write the word true if the statement is correct. And if it is false, change the underlined word to make it correct. Answer. True. Answer, false, because digestion should be changed into assimilation. Answer, false, creation of nutrients should be changed to 
absorption of nutrients. Answer, true. Answer false. Liver should be changed to pancreas. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell to watch updated videos. For more information, you may visit these references. Credits are also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day.